What's going on guys, it's Jamie aka The Fud Economist coming at you guys today with a YouTube video. Um, it's been a while since I've said that, I think my the last time I posted on here was like FIFA 16 or something like that, so it really has been a while. Welcome back to the OG subscribers if you guys are still uh, sticking around and uh, welcome to where I think most of you guys are probably going to be coming from, which is my Twitter account. Um, Anyway, the plan here on this YouTube channel, I'm, I'm hoping to get it started and uh, get back on here consistently. Whether or not that's going to happen um, is, is remains to be seen, but fingers crossed, knock on wood, all kinds of good stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the topic of today's video. Um, obviously, the pressing matter is Team of the Year. Um, if Unless you've been living under a rock, you'll know that EA are... Um, we're, we're getting to the tail end of Team of the Year, but that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you guys can't make coins off of it. So this video is going to be covering three different things, and they all have to do with sort of maximizing your club's coin total right now. Um, the first is looking for players in your club that you guys can sell right now uh, because of the requirements of SBCs and stuff like that. There are a couple of cards, or a couple types of cards right now that are in your club, likely, that you might not know are going for higher than normal prices. Uh, the second thing is we'll be talking about some short-term uh, low to medium budget investments that you guys can be making right now um, that are actually pretty easy and some trading methods to go along with that. And then finally we'll be talking about um, some SBCs that you, that you definitely want to be doing right now uh, to either stack up on packs um, or to get you some players that are going to be useful for uh, future SBCs. So why don't we get right into it. We're going to start off with, as I said, some of the things you want to be looking for in your club right now uh, to go ahead and sell. And uh, I, I do want to give you guys like sort of the reasoning behind everything I'm talking about. So uh, the first thing, the first sort of index of cards that we're going to be looking at are um, gold cards. Um, now, you know, that's kind of obvious, right? But the, the pack luck right now, when you open up packs with FIFA points, seems to be absolutely horrendous. I actually saw Castro open up about 400k worth of FIFA points. Um, you know, granted his best player was Danny Alves, but you know, for spending thousands and thousands of dollars, the fact that you know he, he got one Team of the Year player and then his second best player was Aguero is pretty pretty remarkable. Um, so a lot of people are resorting to these SBCs where they get the 81 plus double guarantee or the Premier League upgrade or the um, La Liga upgrade, um, and the thing about that is, since so many people are doing them, the requirements for them have actually risen in price just a little bit. So if we look at the requirements here, we have the La Liga upgrade, right? So we have we can see that it's exactly gold players, uh, and then if we go down to the Premier League, it is the exact same thing. It's 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 exactly gold players, right? So another thing too, if we if we go ahead and then look at the um, double guarantee, you'll notice that it's not only gold players, but it's also rare gold players. So usually. Like the unless there's a league SBC and they're pinched for a requirement, the just sort of run of the mill like 78 rated gold player will usually go for like 750 coins, like anywhere between 650 750 coins, um, and that's you know not a great selling price for those. But they're all going at just a little bit of a premium right now, the rare gold cards that is, uh, because of these SBCs. Um, and there's the same thing with the non-rare gold cards that are from the La Liga and then from the, uh, the um, Premier League. So definitely go through your clubs, look for those cards, and then list them up, uh, especially you want to list for lazy buyers. And the reason I say list for lazy buyers sort of ties into our next point here. Um, you also have the Team of the Week SBCs that are out right now, and the demand for those Team of the Week SBCs, obviously because of the requirements, 83 overall, is the 83 rated gold card. So um, if we go ahead and go to the, I had a Team of the where is it, there it is. Um, I want to show you guys why listing for lazy buyers works, um, and this applies, as I said, to the 81, or sorry, to the rare gold cards that you guys have in your club, and then the non-rare uh, Liga Santander and Premier League players you guys have in your club, as well as any three, any 83 rated gold cards you guys have in your club right now. And so essentially, what happens is when people are doing these SBCs, they'll go on Futbin, and when they go on Futbin, they find the cheapest solution. When they find the cheapest solution, they look at that and then they like copy it exactly, right? So it doesn't matter actually who's the cheapest or whatever and then they'll sort of build up the squad. Usually they'll build out with concept players and then they'll take these concept players, click on them like this, and then they'll search for them on the transfer market. And because of the, you know, the, the way the transfer market's set up or that, that function set up, you can't actually narrow it down when you do that uh, to the lowest possible buy now. So what people usually do is they'll just look for the, like, the most reasonable price that they can find. For example, someone uh, decided that this Kagawa going for 2,200 coins was the most reasonable price that they were going to find, and someone else decided the same thing. But I guarantee you, if we go and look at Kagawa's actual price on the transfer market, uh, he's actually going for more than that, so or for less than that, rather, on a buy now. 
um, there you go. One just popped up for 1,800 coins. So not only is this a short-term trading method, but it's a perfect example of how this lazy, uh, these lazy buyers work, right? Like they want to save themselves time. So instead of going in and you know granularly picking out one by one each of these players, they just do it uh, based on like the fair prices that they see on the transfer market. So definitely be taking those the players the the um, those cards from your from your club and then listing them up at like a you know 20 to 25 percent premium what they're actually going on their buy now. Um, another thing too, I know a lot of you guys are holding on to the 83 rated gold cards in your clubs right now, um, and that was it was a very popular investment, um, and I think a lot of you guys got kind of got spooked right because they didn't rise to the prices that they had in previous team of the weeks. Obviously, uh, I mean I talked about it on Twitter a little bit, but that's because so many packs are being opened right now, and then the demand for this t current team of the week, team of the week 18, isn't great. So that's the reason that the prices of these um, 83 rated golds has not risen to the the heights of that it has where it was like in the mid 3k range uh, in previous team of the week SBC so uh, with that in mind um, you're, you're gonna be looking you can either hold these 83s um, until so let me back up you have two options right you can try and list these 83s um, up for lazy buyers over the course of the next three days these SBCs expire on Monday uh, when the team of the year that that event sort of like ends on Monday or uh, and this is something that I'm actually considering doing myself uh, you can hold them until the one to watch promotion that we're likely going to have uh, coming up in early February. As, as I look, I, I switched over to Futhead here, um, and we're looking at a FIFA 17, uh, the requirements for the FIFA 17 winter uh, when the one to watch tradable SBC that they put out. As you can see, the requirements right here, um, 83 rated gold, uh, obviously gold, but 83 rated squad, right? So that's going to have a very similar requirement to, um, when compared to like a Team of the Week SBC, for example. Um, so, and, and the thing about during this time is there's not going to be any requirements um, or there's not going to be any like like super heavy, heavy pack openings that are going to push down the prices of these 83 rated gold. So if you can be patient enough uh, to wait to early February, um, you can actually just hold these guys and uh, these 83 rated gold cards and, and wait till then. So at a minimum, you should be listing for lazy buyers um, with the Premier League guy the La Liga guys and then the rare like the really low rated rare gold cards that you guys have in your club um, and then for the 83s you can be listing for lazy buyers if they don't sell that's fine just hold on to them all right so now let's hop into some of the things that you can be looking to buy right now um, the first thing that I want to talk about uh, is is cheap one to watch this is sort of the, a nice transition from um, from from the uh, things that you should be selling right now right um, so uh, as we're looking at the requirements here for this um, one to watch promo you'll notice that one one to watch player is required so what they did last year and again this is sort of assuming that they they bring back a similar promotion is that EA released a winter batch of one to watch cards right and in that as I said they released this one to watch tradable SBC um, so right now the thing you can be doing is you can be looking at the cheapest one to watch items and I'll, I'll quickly pull it up here for you guys um, as we're looking here you know it looks like Hernandez is probably the cheapest maybe um, uh, he, he's usually about the cheapest um, and what we looked at last year if we looked at someone like I'll pull up um, Allison's price from last year he was he was usually the one that was uh, the, the cheapest you'll notice oh, we have to go to FIFA 17 don't we you'll notice that the prices of these one to watch cards rose like quite a bit I mean quite like, substantially um, during this one to watch promotion now granted the strength of the one to watch winter release last year was super strong I and mean, we had the likes of of Pogba and a, and a bunch of other like heavy hitting transfers right so you know you have to take that the the prices that they rose to sort of with a grain of salt um, but you know I, I, with the hype and everything that's going to be surrounding these types of investments I would anticipate that they could reach some of the similar levels that they did um, last year so as we as we look at Allison's price here as we as we sort of scrolling along right he's like going just about for discard and then all of a sudden bam we get the SBC and he goes all the way up to you know freaking 56 57k right so is he going to get that high again or you know obviously not Allison but is someone like Hernandez going to get that high again probably not honestly I mean unless I, there's there's some you know good rumors floating around that that someone like uh, Aubameyang and um, you know Sanchez is, is going somewhere probably, um, but you know the, the chances of it getting that higher, we, we would probably need like another super heavy hitting transfer for that to happen. That being said, someone like Hernandez is probably going to rise higher than his you know current price at, at 22k. And a lot of people are listing on some of these cards right now because they're trying to make room for some of the SPCs that you can be doing right now. So if you have some coins left over, this could be a great place to put your coins right now. Um, and as like sort of a general 
tip for when you're investing in these guys, I wouldn't put it into like one specific player. So while Hernandez is, you know, technically the cheapest, there's other guys that are, you know, right in around that range that you, I, I think you should look to pick up as well. Someone like Sanchez, Bruma, Semedo, Arier, like they're all good options um, because, you know, frankly, uh, you kind of want to spread your, your, you know, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. And, you know, as someone who has, has done this um, investment method already, uh, Aurier last week, I had invested in him like maybe two weeks ago um, for this one to watch promotion coming up. He actually happened to get a team of the week shout and I was able to sell a bunch of his cards on for, you know, 60K when I bought him at 30. So that's like sort of a, like a nice sort of bonus that comes with doing this investment method now. Um, all right. The second thing that you guys can be looking to invest in right now are, are the... the um, high rated gold cards, right? So uh, with the, how, how popular uh, you know, Team of the Year is and how many packs people are opening, obviously the prices of these high rated gold cards that are really in just kind of like no other, that have no other purpose other than like being turned in for SBCs is gonna be pushed down quite a bit right now. If we look at someone like Moore right now, who is one of the cheaper 86 rated gold cards, he's at the lowest he's been essentially all year except for on Wednesday uh, before the Icon SBCs dropped yesterday. So, um, these are definitely cards that you want to be looking to invest in right now. They are at one of the cheapest they've been on you all year, as I've said. Um, and you know, I, I, th I would anticipate as we you know get past team of the year and into some of the um, you know the more drier spells of the year, if you will. I mean, obviously Lunar New Year and stuff like that is coming up, but I would anticipate that we have a lot of really heavy hitting icons still left to drop. You know, the likes of Hullet and, and, and guys like that. Um, so when they do drop, I would anticipate these guys could do. Uh, they could rebound pretty nicely. So uh, definitely guys you want to be looking to pick up. And again, picking them up during lightning rounds, picking them up off bid, as you saw, I mean, people are really, really just sort of haphazardly listing their cards right now. A perfect example was that Kagawa back there. Um, so, you know, take your time when you're investing in these guys. Another thing you guys want to be looking at right now are consumables, uh, high level consumables. And this is like a super cheap investing method you guys can be doing. This is this is great for those of you that don't necessarily have a lot of coins in the bank. Um, so the one that I'm going to give you guys an example of and you can use really, I mean, the, the, the ones that you guys want to be looking at, right, are squad fitnesses uh, and then high level chemistry styles and then position change cards. Um, that are like helpful for the icon SBCs, so like the central ones, right? So the ones that take you from striker to center forward to cam to CDM or to to CM to cam and, and, and or C CM to CDM. Um, so anyway, I'll, I'll give you the, the example I'll give you right now is just the hunter chemistry style, right? So um, usually that card is like virtually extinct. It's like very tough to get it. Um, now we're not in a light, we're not even in a lightning round right now, but I would anticipate we're probably going to be able to find one for. Um, just under 5k, which is not, well, of course, as, as, as soon as I'm trying to show you guys an example of it, it's not showing up. But anyway, usually these guys are extinct, right? So you can actually get them right now, and, and if it was a lightning round right now, you could probably get them for a little bit cheaper. I saw them earlier when I was, like, doing some pre-recording for even cheaper than this. So, um, you know, these are these are the kind of things you can pick up during lightning rounds and just store them in your club and wait for, you know, the, the team of the year promotion to go out, and then you, know, you can just turn around and sell them on again. Um, another thing we want to be talking about, Discard informs. Now, I know that for those of you that invested during other Team of the Week SBCs, uh, that you might be a little bit spooked about investing in these discard informs again, but I'm telling you guys, uh, they are a good look this week. Um, a lot of them are at, I'm, I'm trying to find, where am I trying to look? I'm trying to look for the, there it is. Uh, a lot of these guys are really ridiculously cheap right now for how useful they could be, right? So, I'll just give you guys an example, right? So, someone like, um, Someone like Ward Proas, uh, I, I totally butchered his name, but he's going for something like 11k right now. Uh, he's an English player in the Premier League, could be useful for, um, you know, like a uh, player of the month SBCs, could be useful for uh, when a Team of the Week SBC comes out again. Uh, and they will, we will get another Team of the Week SBC beyond this Team of the Week SBC that we have right now. Um, he's someone that could be very, very useful for future SBCs. Um, and, and so I, I, I hesitate to give like a very specific buy recommendation, but, you know, someone like this, uh, and really any other of the um, above 81 rated discard informs are, are decent looks, right? And you can sort of apply that same sort of logic to any of the other guys. 
guys, right? So um, they could be like like Lanzani is actually a decent priced uh, player right now, uh, given the you know his stats are actually decent, so he could even be like an okay long term look. But you know he's someone that could be used for you know the likes of Icon SBCs and stuff like that. So uh, because of the uh, Team of the Week SBCs and how low they've pushed the prices of some of these guys, you know Evan's another great example. Um, you know th these are these are cards that you guys can be picking up, and honestly, uh, there is uh, you know as as the name suggests discard inform investing there's virtually no risk for it because um their discard value is you know right up there with like nine nine thousand five hundred coins or something like that so um if, if they don't go up in a time period that you need them to go up and you maybe need to liquidate so you can buy a team or whatever um you can just go ahead and do that and really not risk too much of a loss okay so let's move on to the third section here where we're going to be talking about a couple of SBCs that you can be doing right now um that are like pretty good ways to uh, make sure that you guys are set up for future SBCs and the one that we're going to start with here is the um, some of the prices of the icon SBCs that you guys can be doing right now uh, and the one I want to just point out as an example is is this Petter Schmeichel uh, icon the 92 rate goalkeeper right now he's going for 333 K that's the cheapest he's been all year and that's mainly because of how cheap some of the high rated gold cards are right now and when you factor in some of the pack weights that you guys had I, I did a Twitter post about this um, just a little while ago, you'll notice that the discard pack value of all the packs that you get, so that's like assuming if you, you open up all the packs and you just immediately discarded them. Um, so that's like assuming that your, ruck, your luck is terrible. You're going to make back about 35k. So you can get this 92 rated icon goalkeeper done for about 300k, uh, which is, you know, just about... 100k maybe 120k depending on how much the hype is for a certain goalkeeper or for a certain card uh, cheaper than the next tr like lowest tradable icon so that's how much you could save yourself if you're going to take this Petter Schmeichel SPC card and then just turn them in for a future icon um, like a future icon SPC later down the line so that's a that's a very useful tip uh, I know a lot of people are doing that right now uh, something I, I, I definitely definitely recommend and then finally another thing that you guys can be doing is some of the profitable SBCs that we uh, that, that they've you know EA have released throughout the course of the year that because of just you know the way the prices have moved recently with Team of the Year and all that kind of stuff had become profitable. As you look at the spreadsheet I've got here, um, I found this on FIFA Reddit, really great resource. I'll drop a link to it down in the description. It's just a Google Doc. Um, it has live prices and it looks at all of the prices of all of the um, SBCs in the game right now and it'll basically uh, help you pick out the, the uh, packs that or the SBCs rather that will give you pack values that are higher than the actual price of doing the SPC itself. So this is a really, really great resource. Highly recommend doing that, especially if you want to curb uh, your, your pack craving and you don't want to spend any money on the game. Um, so that's just about going to do it. Um, I hope some of those tips were helpful for, to you guys. Got a lot of uh, other content that I've got planned for this YouTube channel. Uh, really, really excited to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, looking for critical feedback, whatever you guys have uh, down in the comment section below. If you guys did like this video or you, you, know, you appreciated uh, the, the, uh, the, the content of it, I would appreciate a like rating. If not, uh, go ahead and dislike it. And then I would love to hear why. Um, you know, please, please let me know. I'm, I'm really am looking for, for critical feedback, especially just getting back into this. So, um, yeah, really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, I'll see you soon.